London. The shroud was never meant for you. You. By my mistake. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were.
Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you going to wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Aberline, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Aberline informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? Invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry. Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> 